Hey guys, here to talk to you today about The Seance by John Harwood. The Seance was published in 2008 and it is a period Victorian ghost story and John Harwood is actually an Australian writer. I didn't even realize until I was already halfway through the book and I was reading his author bio in the back, which was a happy surprise since I've only read a handful of Australian authors. I've owned this book for a few years now and just hadn't got around to it, but after watching Magic in the Moonlight and talking about the prestige recently, I was just in the mood for this type of book dealing with spiritualists, that type of thing. And I was completely overwhelmed with how much I really enjoyed this book. I really like ghost stories. I think they can be a lot of fun. Stories dealing with spiritualism and mesmerism and things like that, I find very interesting, especially from the Victorian age where it was at its height. Um, but I'm normally let down by these type of books, to be honest, or these type of movies or these type of things in general. Um, so I don't actually know why I keep trying, but I'm glad that I did with this one. This was thoroughly enjoyable. As I mentioned, set in Victorian England, and I feel like the tone was captured really, really well. I really enjoyed the writing, the pacing was fantastic, the atmosphere was incredible. Our story starts off with a young girl, Constance Langton, whose little sister has passed away when she was an infant, and her mother has never really recovered from that death. She's just in a state of constant mourning and depression, and Constance, wanting to help her mother somehow, uh, starts dabbling in the idea of seances and spiritualism and being able to speak to the dead from beyond the grave. I won't give away entirely what happens in this little beginning section with Constance, but the book is divided into different sections with different characters and it starts and ends with Constance. At the end of the first part, Constance is linked to this property, to this house, and the rest of the story has to do with that house and with the family and her connection to it as well as to the other members of the family's connection to the house. Each section is linked but also such that you get so involved in that one person's part of the story that it's almost jarring when you come out of it. Um, not that it's not done well but it's just so engrossing you almost forget that another point of view is coming until it happens. I think anyone who is a fan of these type of stories or a fan of uh, maybe Susan Hill's, even though I actually definitely prefer this to Susan Hill's work, or books like The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield, I think that you would really like this. It is mysterious and haunting and atmospheric and there's lots of twists and turns along the way, clues get dropped. It's definitely possible to figure out exactly what's happening if you pay close attention, but it's also possible to get led down the wrong path and come to the wrong conclusion. It is a really well done book. I really, really enjoyed it. It is possibly the very best of its kind that I have read. So if you enjoy ghost stories, especially Victorian style ones, this is fantastic. And apparently John Harwood has other ghost stories so I'm definitely going to be checking them out because his writing really was fantastic and this story just came to life for me. I really enjoyed it. So that's about it for now guys. If you guys have read John Harwood or this book in particular I'd love to know what you thought of it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.